How is how is Fonnie doing in uh, how is how is she doing in Fulton County, Atlanta? How's that? How's that trial? No, I paid him cash. I paid him cash. I didn't, I didn't take anything. I paid him cash. Oh, where'd you get the cash? They're not allowed to answer that question. They're not allowed to ask. I paid him cash, she said. I gave him cash. Oh, I didn't take anything. No, no. Every time we went on a trip, took nine trips in one year. That's a lot of trips. I haven't taken a trip. I don't think I've taken a trip for about 30 years, actually. I don't take too many trips. But it's like, I think she said nine trips. Every time I took a trip with my lover, I paid I paid him in cash. Where the hell did you get the cash? You know, what a lot of what a lot of bullshit. And they hurt a lot of people. She wanted to indict U.S. senators. You know, they stopped at like 40 people. But a lot of good people have been really devastated by the incompetence of that whole thing. And Georgia has been so badly hurt as a state. You know, it's been an embarrassment for Georgia. But when you watch that trial, it's so sad. I paid him in cash. I gave him cash every single trip I took. A lot of trips, Sally. Beautiful trips. Norwegian cruise lines. Beautiful trips. It's so nice. Love is such a beautiful. Isn't love a beautiful? Donald Trump's response to Fonnie Willis's testimony and his skepticism towards efforts to damage his reputation offer insight into the complexities of legal proceedings involving politicians. Trump's focus on financial transactions and his questions about the source of funds may resonate with those who prioritize financial transparency, highlighting personal fiscal behaviors. By criticizing legal processes as nonsense and examining their societal impacts, Trump prompts consideration of the legal system's structural integrity, legitimacy, and fairness. His scrutiny of perceived legal overreach, especially when he suggests Willis's intent to prosecute senators, exposes acknowledged biases in legal investigations. Trump's claim that many upstanding individuals have suffered and Georgia has endured disgrace may evoke empathy from the public, fostering a sense of solidarity with those caught in legal scrutiny.